Yeah, I was cleaning off my desk in my office and uh, I ran across this bag of goodies, which I haven't really done much with. I found a, a seller and it was such a long time ago now, I can't remember exactly where he was. I think it was one, one of the Baltic states, like Latvia or, or somebody, somewhere over there. And the, he had a bunch of surplus Russian electronics and he had a, he have a website and you could go buy stuff. And if you bought a certain amount, he'd give you a discount. And I don't remember the whole details, but uh, uh, I ordered some, some things that I was interested in and then I did nothing with it. So let's open up the bag and see what I bought. Like I said, I don't quite remember. I do remember the one thing that I bought that I wanted, which are these guys. Um, I shot a video once on uh, poor man's calibration and stuff and one of the things was high precision capacitors which I didn't know were a thing um, and uh, you can get quite a few of them on uh, out of Russia and here's here's one this is 0.3 percent 0.3 percent so these are silver mica capacitors they must be hand adjusted and they're hermetically sealed in a metal can and everything they're they have little uh, glass uh, feed-through uh, standoffs and stuff. They're they're quite they're quite interesting. Um, this one is uh, fifteen thousand seven hundred and twenty picofarads, uh, so interesting values as well. And so I got a couple of those, and that's really what I wanted. But he had a bunch of other interesting things, so I bought those also. So let's. Dump the bag out here. Um, okay, let's look at uh, these. Uh, these are microphones. Uh, they're quite they're quite interesting. Um, here's a part number. Now, like it said, it said one piece, but I got two, and here it says two pieces, but I got three. So I had ordered placed my order already. And the guy said, oh, you know, if you order a certain amount, I'll give you a discount. And I was already ordering that much. And he says, so what, what else do you want? You know, do you want to add anything to the order? And I said, ah, just surprise me. Just throw in an extra 10% of things that you have extras of, and I'll be happy. So I guess he gave me three of these instead of two. And they look like nice little... They had pretty good specs. I don't remember the specs now, but they were pretty good spec microphones, uh, cartridges. So I have a project, I believe, coming in the mail that I'm going to use one of these microphones on. So uh, other things we can take a look at are some potentiometers. Now these are cool, really cool looking. Uh, they aren't what you see back in the States. Um, so they have a, a little adjustment. Is that going to focus? They have a little adjustment on the top for a slotted screwdriver, and they look very military-ish. This one is a 10K, um, and I believe it is not. Get a screwdriver here. It is not 10 turn. I believe it is just a wipe, a wipe action. Ooh, that is a small little slot in that screwdriver there. My screwdriver, oh. Ah, no, the slot is filled. That's interesting. Why is that slot filled? Huh, must have to put a, uh... Huh, let me get out another one. Maybe that one's just funny. Yeah, this one's open. Huh. I don't know, maybe it's just dirt in that one. So, yeah, they're just single, single turn. Very nice feeling, though. Uh, I don't know if they're wire or carbon. Probably carbon. They didn't feel. I didn't feel any wire in them, but they look kind of the kind of like the kind that you would have wire in. So these are. Uh, I got some generic values. So these are 10Ks, and these are one meg. So those are always good values to have. So I got some of those. Uh, here's some big things. We'll take a look at those. These are single pole 12 throw switches. Again, they look military grade. Let's pull one of those out. 
they have handwriting on them. It's just super cool. So, uh, 4113H, looks like 10G391, I don't know. They look uh, silver plated. They don't look tarnished at all, so they look sealed too. The units look sealed. Uh, yeah. As much as a wafer switch can be sealed. But yeah, 12 throw switch. I thought those would be those would be handy to have. So got five of those. And again, they don't look like anything I've seen here in the States, so. Alright, then I got some resistors. Take a look at those. Uh, these are very interesting looking resistors. They almost look wire wound as well. They're quite large. Uh, these are... Oh no, these are not resistors. These are inductors. That's why they look strange. So these are nice to have. Uh, 200 microhenries and 30 microhenries at 100 milliamps and 200 milliamps. So good for RF circuits. Um, so those are nice. So those are wire wound, of course. And uh, here is some interesting looking things. Now at first glance you might think they're a diode. They have two metal caps and the thing in between, but they are resistors. They are 1K resistors, 8th watt, 0.5%. Um, um, so pretty accurate as well. So those are really cool looking. They look, they look very expensive. Again, they look military grade. Um, and then the final thing I got, which I thought were interesting, um, are some Zener diodes. These look, look pretty, pretty high wattage. I like the package. The package is really cool. Sometimes you see this package uh, and uh, it has a heat sink on it. But uh, Oh, and it's magnetic too. It's uh, steel. Interesting. The leads look uh, silver plated as well. So this is claimed to be a I uh, can't get the little label over. Here we go. A D818G. It's a 9 volt Zener. 33 milliamps. And it says high stability. So I was thinking these would make a good uh, voltage reference if you needed a 9 volt voltage reference inside a circuit. Um, hmm. Anyway, I got some of those. High stability. I was thinking about making a video on uh, curve tracing parts and uh, just haven't gotten around to it. And so there you go. Um, I wish I could give the guy a plug. He had a, he was a really nice guy. He had a nice little website. He didn't have a lot of things, but what he did have was really cool. So he must have bought, you know, some surplus and had them at home or whatever. And I don't think he ran a real business. I think he just had them in his garage. Um, but uh, you might see some of these in uh, future videos.